Hello, hello, welcome back to another vlog. I am in a rush because I am on my way to go get my nails done and I need to be there very shortly. I haven't had my nails done in almost a month, so I'm very excited for this. And I also really wanna get something very, oh, sorry, Mace. Um, something very fall inspired. I'm thinking the classic Hailey Bieber glazed nails, but like the chocolate ones. So the chocolate brown with the chrome on them. Um, or if I don't do the chrome, just get like chocolate brown nails. So that's the thought for today. But the reason I'm in a rush is because I, where is my wallet? The reason I'm in a rush today is because I actually don't have a car at the moment. My car was making a really funky noise, so I took it in. <coughs> Sorry, I still have my cough. I took it in to the mechanic, and they they told me that repair it, one is gonna take two days, and it is going to cost so much money. I started crying at the cost of what it's gonna cost, at the cost of what it's gonna take for me to fix my car. Um, yeah, so that was really fun today. It's like in the thousands and not just like a thousand or two, like it's a few thousands, let's just put it that way. And I generally started crying, so I was like, um, who has that money? Like, I guess I have to pay it or else my second option is, oh, perfect, my wallet. My second option is if I want to get a new car, which will be tens of thousands. So we're going to go with the cheaper option, but it's still, I literally start crying when he called me and he was like, yeah, so this is broken, this is broken, this is broken. And I'm like, oh my God. Um, but I mean, I have to do it because one, he said it's a safety issue. So that's why I was like, okay, well, I guess I don't really have a choice. But anyways, I'm rambling off to get my nails done. I'll show you the end process. Um, but I have to walk there and it's a 30 minute walk. So we're gonna go and have a nice walk to get our nails done. But yeah, as you can tell, and probably by the start of this vlog, I've had a hectic day, a little all over the place. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this weekly vlog. such a busy weekend that I was gone for like 10 hours on the Saturday and Sunday so I wasn't even home so I was like oh my gosh so I wasn't productive at all with like my own personal stuff I had to get done so today's Monday and I'm treating it like kind of like a Sunday so <coughs> I just got back from grocery shopping doing errands um doing laundry right now <coughs> I still have a cough from when I have COVID but yeah, it's a very casual Monday. I'm gonna like self tan. I've already showered, washed my hair, everything like that. I'm gonna do some editing on my YouTube video that I'm gonna post today. But <coughs> yes, very casual. Not so much a work day, more of a get my life together day. Um, but I wanted to show you um, a few of the things I got over the last few days. A bit of retail therapy, and I'm looking at them now, and it's a bit of a stripe theme but I love them. So first thing first, and it was a bit of an early birthday present from my boyfriend. I got the Adidas Gazelles in black. These are them, I love them so much. They're actually super comfortable. They have more support than any other of my running shoes or like Adidas have. They have like the arch support. And I just really like how like lightweight and simple they are. And I also don't own black sneakers. So I really like them. They also come in other colors like gray, I want to say like a dark green but I could be wrong but there are there are other colors and there's also the Samba style ones that I liked but the store only had these ones and I don't know I actually really like them a lot more in person than I've seen like online so yeah I'm really happy I got these so a little early birthday gift but I think they're gonna be really really cute for fall the next thing I got that literally matches perfectly with those shoes is this sweater from Zara it's inside out 
because I've been already wearing it a whole bunch. But it is the classic striped sweater that I feel like everyone's buying. It has like the little quarter zip. Um, but it is so cute. Again, I feel like it's really easy to style. Jeans, black pants, skirts, literally anything. So I've already been posting this like on my Instagram and everything. And they do have a few other styles, but I will link this one below as well as like the shoes and everything. Um, if you guys like like any of this stuff. But yeah, and it was about $60, but I love it and... I'm excited to wear it more this fall. And the last thing I bought was kind of impulsive of me. Um, I saw a girl wear them on her Instagram and I DM'd her. I was like, where did you get those pants? I love them. And she sent me the link. They're from Abercrombie. And they're like these pin striped. Honestly, I'm pretty sure they're pajama pants. Like it said loungewear pajama pants on the website. So I guess that means they're pajama pants. But they're just like these really casual, comfy looking pinstripe like that scandinavian style vibe pant and um i love them so much they were on sale for like 30 dollars, so i bought them and they're nice and long um but yeah how cute are they and i'm really excited to sell them because i feel like obviously yeah they're like loungewear pajama pants but i feel like they don't look like pajama pants on um so i'm excited to wear them style them they're super comfy because they're like oversized kind of yeah i will link these as well hopefully they're still on sale there's only a few left so if you like them um definitely grab them but i'll probably wear them in the next few days so you'll see them in this vlog but yeah i'm super excited for them but yeah everything was striped theme very fall vibes but that's been my most recent little bit of their retail therapy i just got these pumpkins from the grocery store and i literally think they're the cutest thing ever so we're gonna open them up and then put them around the apartment as like fall decor oh my gosh oh my gosh dropping everything they're so cute oh my goodness i've casually scattered pumpkins throughout the whole apartment this does not go there but how cute and then i've put more over here they're just adorable and even more <laughs> i also just ended up getting this spiced pumpkin warm harvest pumpkin pumpkin warm harvest pumpkin with ground cinnamon candle just to add to the little decor and make the house smell very fall um and then yeah it's already later in the afternoon actually but yeah now i am gonna make some banana bread for just like an afternoon of fall baking and again like i said earlier just having a chill casual sunday style monday but yeah i feel like i found the best banana bread recipe online i'll link it down below it's so simple such minimal ingredients but it's so easy to make and it's so delicious um and my one tip if you do use this banana bread recipe is just double it because it definitely like only fills like half the banana bread pan so definitely put two of everything or like double everything um so you have enough or you have like good size pieces of banana bread but yeah we're gonna bake and have a pretty chill relaxing monday fall afternoon
in the very first clip was telling you how I was getting my nails done, but <coughs> this dumb cough. Um, but I never showed you them because I didn't vlog all weekend. But these are them, the Haley Bieber um, chocolate glazed style nails. I really like them. Um, so yeah, very fall, very fun chocolate brown nails but yeah that's them anyways i am also wearing my new pants i showed you yesterday and i have to show you them on because i love them they're a little big and i think i'm gonna have to get them either like tailored or hemmed or whatnot i've just like rolled them for now but these are them the length is really good and honestly that's sometimes all i care about because being 5'10 is a struggle but i feel like i could either like get it tailored like slightly in the waist as you can see, or I can just roll them too, but no, but when I roll them, it reduces the length. So I'm probably gonna get them like tailored just a bit back here, but these are them. I think they're so cute. Um, again, I will have them linked below, so definitely check them out if you want a pair. Um, but yeah, I just spent the last hour and a bit doing TikToks and Reels and filming them all. Um, and then I'm gonna do like some YouTube editing, real TikTok editing, and planning. I need to do content planning. I don't know, there's so much to do, it's overwhelming. Um, yeah, and I think Bryce and I are gonna go to mini putting tonight before it gets like really cold, but I think it'd be a lot of fun. So yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys along for that. And then tomorrow I'm probably or not probably, I am going into Toronto for another content shoot day, so I'll bring you to that as well. Good morning, guys. I am on my way <laughs> to Toronto this morning for another content shoot day. I had such a hectic morning, so I didn't get any filming done. Last night, we didn't even end up going mini golfing, like I said, because the weather here has not been very good. It's been pouring rain, so we stayed home, didn't do much. But yeah, I'm headed into Toronto to go meet up with my friend Vanessa, and we are doing three looks today at like cafes, getting all the fall vibes. Um, and I'm excited for my outfits today because I feel like they're very fall. So I'll try to bring you along um, as much as I can for the content and like the shooting and everything and like the locations we go to and I'll try to like put on the screen too the locations um, that I like and like that I think were good and then if you're from Toronto and like you're looking for good shoot places I will let you know from Toronto my content day there and I came home to a few PR packages that I thought we could open together okay first one is from good molecules Ooh, now available at Ulta we don't have Ulta in Canada but if you live in the States good molecules is now available at Ulta and let's see what we have okay first we have a silicone free priming moisturizer oh that's very soft hmm kind of smells like i don't know honey i don't know it smells good though oh shea butter similar okay next we have the niacinamide brightening toner i love toners i had one i think like this from them i'm not sure I have the exfoliating niacinamide powder one that, that I really like. Oh yes, I've had this before. This is good stuff. Discoloration correcting serum. I don't think I own a serum like this. I love their packaging. It's so cute, but that is the serum. And then last but not least, we have an overnight exfoliating treatment formulated with AHA and BHA. That is good ingredients, so I'm excited for this. And then look at this cute box. This is how they come. But yes, thank you to Good Molecules. And then the next package I have is from Sigma Beauty. And this is like, I took a sneak peek 
before I decided to film this and this is like a PR package. I'm very excited. Um, so we have a little card. Okay, first thing is first. I'm so excited for this because this is one thing in the beauty world or like stores I just don't spend my money on brushes. So I'm really excited to try these. They're really cute because they're pink. Okay, next from Sigma we have, this is an eyeshadow palette. That's also one thing I really never buy, so this is exciting. Those are such pretty colors. <gasps> Love that, very fall. Next we have a few more brushes. Mascara, brow gel, ooh, eyeliner pencil, long wear eyeliner pencil, liquid lipstick, eyeshadow base primer. Oh, that's really cool. I've never really used eyeshadow primer. Color correcting duo. Oh, it's like concealer. That's really cool. Oh, how pretty is that? Okay, let's try it on. That's so pretty. We have a highlighter, we have blush, we have a matte bronzer, and then a matte bronzer light. Oh, two different shades, that's awesome. And last but not least, we have, oh, it's like the brush cleaner pad. So I'm really excited to try this all out. So thank you so much to Sigma Beauty because this is insane. Okay, but I think I'm gonna end the vlog off here and then start a new one for this weekend and post it next weekend, everything like that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog, a few days in my life. Um, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, you know, the norm. Um, subscribe down below and I love you and I will see you in my next vlog. Okay, bye.